With the season opener in Bahrain fast approaching, 15 teams and 30 drivers are preparing to do battle for the 2023 VCO Formula Sim Racing World Championship in the first ever hybrid electric FSR car. My name is Edward Hunter and I'm here to take you through all the competitors set to take part this season. French F1 team Alpine makes its debut in the FSR World Championship under the watch flies of team manager Jürgen van Bergen. The French squad has a pair of aces up its sleeve. No, not Ocon and Gasly, but reigning FSR World Champion Colin Spork alongside 2015 champion Petar Brilliac. Spork well and truly came of age in his first season with Unicorns of Love in 2022, taking his first win in Imola before following up with further triumphs at Silverstone, Le Mans and Spa-Francorchamps, and then sealing his first title by three points with victory in Interlagos. Spork has since traded in his Unicorn for an Alpine as he joined their eSports program. After strong showings for Les Blues in the Le Mans Virtual Series, the Dutchman will be hoping to replicate last year's success for the Renault Group's sports car arm. After a year out of FSR in 2022, Brilliac is back and looking stronger than ever. The Croatian finished runner-up in 2020 before placing fifth in 2021 for Williams Esports. Welcomed by Alpine with open arms, Brilliac looks to add to his impressive tally of 17 victories and to take his second title after patiently waiting eight years since his first. After winning the team's championship for the first time as Red Bull, Dennis Jordan's squad has switched branding over the winter to become part of the illustrious Ferrari esports division and shows every sign of being able to hold on to the top spot with the aid of returning teammate and fellow German Alex Siebel. The ever consistent Siebel was runner up in the championship for the second year in a row in 2022 after narrowly losing the points lead in the final round to Spork in a dramatic title decider. Three consecutive victories in Japan, Italy and the Côte du Jour represent a breakthrough year for the German who transforms from raging bull to prancing horse as he seeks to finally lift the world championship he came so close to stealing last season. After a strong start last season with a brilliant victory in Malaysia, Jordan's title challenge faded after accidents in Britain, France, Belgium and Japan derailed his campaign. Three second places in Italy, the Asia and the USA then allowed him to recover to third. After recently winning the GT Challenge Championship for the Scuderia, this could well be the fresh start that the four-time race winner needs. The Italian Netrex team have been a constant presence in the World Championship since its inception in 2001, and last year rounded out the top three with their P1 Sim entry. The squad effectively rebrands as the main Netrex team, maintaining the dynamic duo of Noah Reuvers and Jan Vosnitsa that proved themselves to be such a strong force last season. Voznitsa had a very impressive first full season, finishing runner-up to eventual champion Spork in the season opener at Imola and then taking his maiden pole position at Matsusaka where he eventually placed third. Beating Michi Hoya to fourth in the points was an excellent effort from the pole who is set to be a regular podium threat once again this season. Whilst Reuvers finished last year 12 points behind his teammate in 6th, his debut campaign definitely had its high points with two second places to Countryman Spork at Silverstone and Le Mans. The 2021 Pro Champion will be having to build upon his promising 2022 and avoid a repeat of the accidents in San Marino, Spa-Francorchamps and the Azure that limited his score. After winning back-to-back -back championships in 2020 and 2021, last season was the toughest campaign yet for Burst Esport, with the Danish squad being knocked down to fourth in the standings. However, there were signs of recovery in the back end of last season, and stalwart Michi Hoya remains alongside Damian Skovron, who returns for his second bite of the cherry. Five-time race winner Hoya leads Burst once more as they seek to return to title-winning glory after a bruising campaign. The German finished 5th in the points, taking pole position at Spa-Francorchamps and victory at Indianapolis, showing that he's lost none of the class that led him to consecutive bronze medals and teams titles in 2020 and 2021. Skovron endured a difficult start to life in the World Championship last season, but the pole gained confidence throughout the year, navigating the late chaos in Belgium to take his first podium followed up with a strong race in Japan to fourth before fighting for victory at Monza when his race was cruelly undone by a penalty for speeding in the pit lane. The 2021 Academy Champion now seeks to access his incredible pace more consistently and improve upon 10th place in last year's standings. A strong run of points finishes allowed the Chilean Grand Effect team to seal their best ever result in the team standings in fifth. 
After three seasons, Jose Ignacio's squad is still hunting their first win, and has decided to maintain the services of the highly rated Santa Callas alongside teammate Zolt Zux. 2017 pro champion Callas returned from his year-long sabbatical better than ever in 2022, taking seven top seven finishes and leading at Silverstone, Matsusaka and Indianapolis where he took Grand Effect's first ever pole position. After several strong performances allowed him to finish eighth in the standings, the Estonian is aiming for big results this season and can never be discounted from the running. Hungarian Zooks is coming off of his strongest season yet in the World Championship after taking a career best result of 7th for Indianapolis. However, Zooks' season was also incredibly incident packed, with him crashing out at Imola, Silverstone, Matsusaka, Spa and Brazil. He'll be hoping to iron out his mistakes and back more points in his second full season at the top level. The second burst team had a consistent, if not especially eye-catching season last year, getting both cars to the finish of all but one round. However, it's now all change on the driver front, as the legendary Jerne Simoncic returns alongside David Mroczek. Triple World Champion Simoncic is a man who requires no introduction. The Slovenian took a break from the World Championship last year, returning to compete in Stock Car Pro, where he won the season opener before being narrowly beaten to victory by Voznica in the California 175. Now equal with Bruno Marquez on three world titles and 26 race victories, Simoncic seeks to eclipse the record of five-time champion Bono House to become the most successful driver in FSR history. 2021 Formula Challenge champion Roxek also returns after a year largely spent on the sidelines. The Polish driver helped Michi Hoyer to the team's championship in 2020 by finishing sixth in the points and has taken five podiums across his FSR career. After a solid drive to seventh at Sipang last year filling in for Hoyer, Mroczek reminded everyone that he's a proven talent who can be relied upon to bring home the point, first need to top the tables once again. The Belgian Arnage Competition Squad has teamed up with renowned Australian manufacturer Brabham for their second season in the World Championship. Star driver Janos Braxok is joined by new teammate Mika Hakimi as the Rapid Pink Machines look to improve upon their seventh place in the standings last season. Hungarian Braxok enters his fifth season in the World Championship, sticking with Arnage after finishing seventh last season. He took his second career pole position in Sepang and secured two podiums at Le Mans and Matsusaka. But after suffering some major misfortunes, he'll be determined to finally break his duck and secure that elusive first victory. A graduate of the Toyota Gazoo Racing Malaysia Young Talent Development Scheme, Hakimi competed for Brabham in the VCO ERL last season. After setting the fastest lap at this year's virtual 24 hours of Le Mans and leading the hypercar standings in the e-racing series, the man named after Mika Hakkinen will be eager to make an impression on his FSR debut. Newly renamed in honour of late great driver and team manager Alessio Campus, the second Netrex squad endured a difficult 2022 falling to 8th in the points table. A new lineup has been brought in to arrest the slide, consisting of talented youngsters Costas Van Vukas and Jake Denahan. Van Vukas competed for Grand Effect in 2022, winning the Academy round in Malaysia before a swift promotion to Pro led him to become a regular podium finisher, taking the runners-up spot at both Spa-Francorchamps and Indianapolis. Now making the switch to Netrex, Van Vukas will be looking to once again make an instant impact, this time on the World Championship. Denahan experienced a punishing World Championship debut for Edge Esports in 2022, where almost everything that could go wrong did go wrong. He's had a very productive off-season, however, winning the Stock Car Pro Championship for Netrex and taking wins at Silverstone and the Hungaro Ring on the way to the pre-season championship. Denahan currently leads the GPVWC Super League standings by 16 points after winning in Bahrain and Jeddah, and he returns to the World Championship with renewed confidence and determination, aiming to keep Irish eyes smiling this season. Super Venturi started three rounds late in 2022 and were left playing catch-up for most of the season. However, the team from Finland starts this year in a much stronger position, fielding a 75% finish lineup of Jan Grankvist and Juka Pekalalu, continuing their partnership from GPVWC this season. After winning his first pro race at Sepang, 2022 GPVWC Superlights champion and Super Venturi founder Grankfist brought his team into the World Championship mid-season, finishing 4th in Belgium and Brazil and 6th in the United States. Grankfist has won the standout qualifiers in the field and was even able to lead on his third ever World Championship start at Spa. 
After missing out on the Pro Championship by 4 points, Lalu switches focus to the World Championship after competing in one-off showings last season at Silverstone and Indianapolis for Superventury and Royal Blue Racing respectively. Lalu also impressed in the pre-season championship, winning in Hungary, and is currently 6th in the GPVWC Super League Championship after scoring points in every race thus far. After winning Academy in 2021, followed by Pro in 2022, British squad Royal Blue Racing now takes on the World Championship after a very successful trial run in the final two rounds of last season, with Matthew Williams and Cosmo Pesciuto looking to pick up where they left off in Brazil. 2021 GPVWC Superlights champion Williams joined the Pro Championship partway through last season and dominated four races in a row, following which he was promoted to the World Championship for the final two rounds of 2022, where he made an immediate impression, beating Alex Siebel to third on the road at Indianapolis, before then fighting eventual champion Spork for the entire race in Sao Paulo, only to narrowly miss out on victory. The Englishman's lightning quick race pace and sharp instincts in wheel to wheel combat mark him out as one to watch in his first full season at the top level. American Pesciuto took only one win at home in Indiana on his way to the pro title last season, but five podiums saw his consistency secure him the title. His world championship debut for Royal Blue in Brazil saw him take a hard fought tenth on debut as he held his own in several intense multi car battles. Expect the Bostonian to regularly trouble the points paying positions this season. After narrowly beating Grand Effect to the Academy team's title by a single point, the Italian Valle Esports outfit make their bow in the World Championship this season, hiring returning veteran Giordano Valeriano and rookie driver Stavros Muzaitis. 2018 Pro Champion Valeriano returned to the World Championship for the first time since 2019, hoping to improve on his best result of 5th at the 2017 German Grand Prix. The Italian also took part in Formula Challenge last year, finishing 5th in the Principality, as well as in the FSR Preseason Championship where he placed 8th in Belgium. Musaitis was a revelation when he joined Valley Esports in the middle of last season, winning on his academy debut in yellow at Le Mans, before even more unexpectedly triumphing on his debut in pro at Silverstone. Placing 6th in the academy standings despite missing 4 races, the Greek driver now graduates to make his and the team's world championship debut. The French race clutch outfit looks to support Alpine this season as it too makes its bow in FSR, promoting Tom Latilou to make his debut alongside veteran Robin Pansar. After finishing 9th in the standings last season with 3 8th place finishes in San Marino, France and the Azure, Pansar leaves Burst Esport to move to the new race clutch squad, bringing with him a wealth of experience and technical knowledge. The Swedish driver was able to finish all 10 races last year in the top 15, a feat bettered only by title contenders Spork and Siebel. Second in the FIA Gran Turismo World Championship in 2018, Alpine Esports mainstay Latiu finished fourth with reigning world champion Spork at the virtual Le Mans 24 hours this season as he successfully transitioned into R Factor 2 after winning on every other racing title from Forza Motorsport 7 to Project Cars 2. Now the talented Frenchman is tasked with delivering for Race Clutch at FSR Summit. After finishing runners-up in the Stock Car Pro Series last year, TX3 enters the World Championship for the first time under the management of former driver Roberto Pignataro. The driving lineup consists of two experienced and highly rated Germans in the form of Janik Bock and Mark Schleuter, both of whom could spring a few surprises in the season to come. Reigning two-time GPVWC Super League champion Bock joins TX3 for his first proper crack at FSR after finishing 12th in the 2021 Indy Pro Series. With 15 Super League race victories under his belt, he'll be determined to bring that pedigree with him into the World Championship. Expect to see the Janik panic whenever drivers see Bock's black and green TX3 car bearing down on them. Experienced German driver Schleuter has competed in GPVWC Superlights and is best known by his exploits for ETA Esports in F122. He earned his World Championship debut with TX3 after second place in the FSR Preseason Championship, where he won the final race in Belgium from pole position. Visceral Esports finished 4th in the 2019 Pro standings in their previous guise as part of TCS Off Racing, and now step up to the big league for the first time after partnering with the Bristol-based esports company. The Canadian outfit has a simple and instructive motto, to take the crown, a task which falls upon the shoulders of rookie drivers Darius Andre and Martin Maguli. 
Romanian Andre may be one of the youngest drivers in the field, but he in no way lacks experience, finishing runner-up to champion Denehan in the 2021 GPVWC Formula Sprint 2 Series, and also competing for Visteral in the FSR Stock Car Pro Series, where he secured two top 7 finishes. He'll be hoping that puts him in good stead for his debut in the World Championship. Merguli has enjoyed great success in endurance racing with Mugen Sim Racing and qualified third on the grid for the opening round of GT Challenge in Long Beach. The Hungarian is also a race winner in the Virtual Endurance Championship and will be looking to impress in his first appearance in FSR. The fifth and final new team rounding out the entry list is RHG Esports, the French outfit owned by Formula 1 and IndyCar podium finisher Roman Grosjean. Manager Stéphane Koch, also involved as the team owner of TX3, has selected Liam Duval and Adam Maguire, two drivers with unfinished business in the World Championship. 2020 GBVWC Superlights champion Duval has had a sporadic but eventful FSR career so far, winning the 2022 Indy 300 and placing second in only his third World Championship start at Imola in 2021. However, that podium is the sole finish for the Dutchman in his five World Championship starts so far, something he'll be looking to rectify with his new RHG team. 2020 GPVWC Super League champion Maguire returns to FSR for the first time since 2021, hoping to improve upon his career best 7th place finish in the 2017 Belgium Grand Prix. His current Super League season sees him 7th in the points after victory in Australia, and the Irishman will be keen to impress in his 4th attempt at the World Championship. So, three world champions, six race winners, and seven rookies from all corners of sim racing will be battling it out for championship glory from Bahrain on May 14th all the way through to Brazil on October 15th. Comment below with who you think is going to lift the title this season, and don't forget to tune in for live coverage of Academy Pro and the World Championship. And if you miss it, then don't worry, we've got you covered with our highlights package. From me, Edward Hunter, it's goodbye for now, and we'll see you in Bahrain.